Hey everybody, this is Brian Head Tutor from Scorpion coming at you from Scorpion headquarters in sunny Menlo Park, California. Let's tackle our SAT question of the day, which is this math question. So this question features a system of equations. That means that it has two equations using the same variables. In this case, x and y. x and y both appear in each of the equations listed above. Now, the question itself is asking which of the following answers is a solution to the system of equations. So, in order for an answer to be a solution, it has to work in both equations. And these answers happen to be coordinate pairs of x, comma, y. So, we can take the answer choices use the x value and the y value from each choice, put them back into the equations above, and see if they actually work. Let's start with answer A. x is 2 and y is 10. I'm going to start with the first equation that the question provided to see if this coordinate pair actually works. We would get 2 times x, which in this case is going to be 2 times 2 and then we would add 3 times y, in this case it's going to be 3 times 10. So 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 10 is 30, so 4 plus 30 equals 34. Okay, cool, so answer A seems to work, at least for the first equation. Let's try it for the second equation. 5x, in this case, is going to be 5 times 2. Minus y, in this case, is going to be minus 10. And that's supposed to equal 17. 5 times 2 is 10 itself. And 10 minus 10 does not equal 17. So answer A, gone. Let's move on to answer B. Answer B is 5 comma 8. So back to the first equation. 2 times 5 plus 3 times 8. Again, the x is going to be 5 and the y is going to be 8. 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 8 is 24. That equals... 34. So, so far, so good. Let's try it for the second equation. 5 times 5 minus 8 equals 17, or at least it's supposed to. 5 times 5 is 25 minus 8. That does equal 17. We could try answers C and D, but we just found a coordinate pair, 5 comma 8, that is a solution to both equations, meaning it's a solution to that system of equations. Therefore, there shouldn't be another answer choice that works. We can be sure that B is our best answer. So go ahead and bubble that in. So there you go. Not too bad if you just take the question piece by piece and consider what a solution is for an equation. If you'd like extra help with other systems of equations problems on the SAT or with coordinate pairs or XY linear equations, tap the tutoring button at the bottom of the screen. Or if you're reading in our blog, scroll to the bottom and click on the tutoring banner at the bottom of the page. Our tutors can help you master linear equations like the ones you see here or dealing with multiple linear equations, which again are called system of equations. All right, see you next time.